So the, the point is to, to figure out what are like the normal dynamics of probably the densest microbial community in the world. Um, from day to day, how does the community in terms of like the number of species in it change? Are the rates of different species and can you correlate those to sort of to things that the host does or how the host lives their life? So, so we've been calling them hats. I don't know if they really are generally called hats. And the idea is that you collect your sample in these, um, and once you've got a sample, you take a pipette tip, you core out uh, part of your specimen, and then we take those pipette tips and put them into the um, tubes that, that you saw earlier. So we've been keeping a daily log of, a, of our feces at minus 80. <laughs> so they, they live over here. Um, yeah, like I said, there aren't that many yet. I think one of the things we're worrying about, though, is if we have enough freezer space for like months of worth of samples. Or I think the, like the one of the big limiting factors here is just like having enough like hold space to to hold this much like <laughs> biology, which is sort of ridiculous. So? Yeah. So we had to go in front of the IRBs, um, which is interesting. So. Uh, I had no idea that you needed to get IRB approval to do something like this, given that I thought we were the experimenters and that it should be pretty clear what the risks were. Uh, but it turns out that they're around to make sure there are privacy issues. So if there was something found um, in my poop that it turns out I didn't want the world to know, there should be mechanisms in place to prevent me personally from being associated with the, the experiment or the sample preparation. Um, and then there are also questions, apparently, of coercion. Uh, hmm. did, did my advisor force me to do this? Uh, and so I had to go in front of a committee and tell them no. But uh, of my own volition, I wanted to poop into a cup six months in a row and mess around down there. It's really gross. <laughs> like it, or it's getting better, but in the beginning, like you're pouring it out and there's a I told you this as well. There's a reason why you, you poop into water and not into the air, into like the open air. It, it's to contain the smell. And so if you poop into the open air, and then like, you know, it takes a little time because you're sitting there taking notes on describing what your, your sample was like for the, the experiment. So it's kind of sitting there and like gestating. Um, and then you core out a sample. And at that point, you've like broken the barrier and, and sort of like released the demon. And you know, you're down there messing around. I, I wasn't fully prepared for, for what that was like. Um, you got like nauseous in the beginning, but Eric apparently was like really used to this because he's had a child. And so he was like, you know, what's the big deal? Like I do this like three times a day with Kai. <laughs>